Okay, so y'all know that um, I woke up this morning telling y'all about a vision that I had, but I did not finish telling y'all about the vision because my storage was full on my phone, um, and I was not really looking presentable. As you can see, my hair was not even combed, but the vision was so powerful, and I've been having a lot of trouble with my visions lately because of my sleep patterns and things like that right now. Um, so the distractions and noises and things like that, you know, um, I have to kind of normally be in a quiet environment, you know, like, so I had a vision last night that was strong and I had been having them, but they wasn't coming through. Uh, to where I could remember. And so I remembered um, that I didn't share the rest of it that was the most important because I have been so busy concentrating on just putting out information uh, as fast as I could before I went back to Texas. And so I was putting out the information and I pretty much summed up everything that has taken place uh, between me and Austin and the entire situation involving my children. And so I went to sleep and it's like God finally just let it come through to me. Like, okay, you got the word, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what that was for me was, okay, I've been asking so long, like, God, I need to hear from you. Like, Lord, I need to hear from you. And not really having places to sleep like that because I've been, of course, you know, like, going place to place. And um, it, it, I haven't been having the best sleep, but I've been grateful to get sleep. You know how that type of situation is. And so... This morning, um, I had woke up and I was like, hmm, I remembered it. And y'all know my visions are very powerful right now because you have people in the earth that's trying to do things that's going against God. And they're trying to have a little wicked coven that's trying to go against him with the devil. And they're trying to do their little wickedness to me in my life. Um, that's not of God. And so the Lord came through because I told everything like in these videos. I was like, I told everything about Austin, Cynthia, my family, everybody that was involved. And, you know, for me, I've been really nervous and I've been really scared um, about somebody wanting to hurt me about going out there or not being able to make it. Like, you know, all these different thoughts going into my head. And when I woke up, the Holy Spirit um, had let me remember it. So I, in the vision that I had, I saw Cynthia. I had rolled past her house, and I was in the car with my dad, I think. And I had rolled past her house, and she had on this little outfit, black outfit and with white hair. And she it was shiny and tight like cowgirl kind of. But it was a witch outfit, and it was black. And she had on some boots or something, but she don't dress like that. And she was walking around like that in front of her house doing something. And I tried to hide from her. And I leaned over to my dad's shoulder because he was driving. And I said, oh, dad, hide my face. Like, and I did like that. I was on the passenger side. I was like, she outside. I don't want her to see me. So I was hiding from Cynthia. And I did not want her to see me riding past her house in the car with my father. And the reason why I didn't want her to see me was because I was just scared because she had went through the court to say that I could not get my baby back from her. And so we rolled past and I called Cynthia. I picked, I remember dialing the phone in the vision. And it actually was like this morning, like in the wee hours of the morning when I had the vision and woke up and remembered. So it was, uh, I dialed the number and I remember her phone number 
and I doubt it. Do 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 do. And I got on the phone with her, and she was like, "Hello" or whatever. And I said, she was like, where are you? Like, she tried to handle me as soon as she realized I was on the phone. She asked where I was at, like she had seen me or something. And I believe she saw me when we rode past. And she said, where are you? And I said, I'm across the street. So I told her that I was across the street from her house. And she hung up the phone. She just said, click. And I was like, dang, I shouldn't have told her or something like that. I said, uh, she trying to say something about some court. She was trying to make it seem like, I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. She trying to make it seem like the court is trying to make it seem like uh, I can't come and see about my baby. And so I just went down to her house and she was in a different house. She wasn't. She, according to the records that I found of Austin being arrested at that residence where she was staying, I have the address, and I know that that was the house she was staying in. But in the vision, it was a different house. And, you know, uh, spiritual things can be different, or sometimes that can be what it is, but I'm just telling you what I saw. So in the vision, she had a house that had a balcony, and I don't remember her having a balcony. And it was almost like it was a two-story. And she came outside. You know, they had, and she wasn't outside. There was children. Hold on, because I don't want nobody to do that. There was children. Because I'm, I'm, I'm in someone's home, and I need to tell something. There was children um, on the balcony. And... I saw children out there on her balcony.